Apple is taking another big step toward independence from external suppliers. And this time, it's all about the cellular modem chip. Imagine a future where your iPhone relies entirely on Apple-made components. Well, that reality is closer than you think. According to a report by Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, Apple's long-awaited in-house modem is set to debut in 2025, marking a major milestone in the company's quest to free itself from relying on Qualcomm. The first device to showcase this Apple-designed modem will reportedly be the iPhone SE 4, which is expected to launch next spring. However, the initial version of the modem, codenamed Synop, may not match Qualcomm's current chips in performance. This modem is crucial for connecting your phone to cellular networks for calls and internet access. This modem will lack support for MMWave, a cutting-edge 5G technology known for delivering blazing fast speeds. Instead, it will feature the sub-6 GHz standard already found in the 2022 iPhone SE, so you may not find this upgrade worthwhile. Despite these limitations, Apple aims to integrate its modem more deeply into the iPhone's systems, promising improved power efficiency and stronger network connections. Production will be handled by TSMC, Apple's trusted partner responsible for manufacturing its A-series processors. Interestingly, Apple plans to expand the use of this modem gradually, with the iPhone 18 and higher-end iPads expected to feature more advanced versions by 2026. By 2027, Apple hopes its modem will support Emma Wave and significantly higher download speeds, potentially rivaling or surpassing Qualcomm's offerings. Apple's journey toward an in-house modem has been years in the making, involving billions in investment and the acquisition of Intel's modem division. While the first-generation modem is positioned as a test run with lower-end devices like the iPhone SE 4, it's clear that Apple's ultimate goal is to deliver a seamless integration of the modem with its processors. Gurman even hinted at the possibility of combining the modem and main processor into a single chip in the future. This bold move underscores Apple's determination to control every aspect of its devices, from design to performance. As the iPhone evolves into an even more powerful device, it will be fascinating to see how this shift to an Apple-made modem shapes the company's future products. What do you guys think about Apple's move? Do you think Apple will match the quality of its in-house 5G modem to Qualcomm modem? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.